Here I'm showing how you can use the process of distillation to make seawater drinkable in a survival situation. So first I'm just gathering some resources that I need for the method, including a plastic water bottle that I'm going to cut in half and use to collect the distilled water, and also a hose pipe where the steam is going to condense once the seawater has initially been boiled. In order to boil the water, I need to light a fire. So here I'm just collecting some wood that's fallen down the cliff and also some driftwood on the beach. So here I'm using blocks of sediment to hold the distillation setup together and it's important to cover the pipe with wet sand or clay or mud in order to keep it as cool as possible because that pipe must remain cool in order for the steam to condense and turn back into liquid water. So this is the basic setup. Water is going to boil in the metal flask at this end. It's then going to rise as steam and pass through the pipe. The pipe's going to be nice and cool, so as the water passes through it, it's going to condense and turn back to liquid water that will drip out and be collected at the other end. Now as the water boils and rises as steam, the salt in the seawater is going to be left behind in the metal flask, so the water that collects at the other end is going to be fresh, drinkable water. It's worth noting that you don't have to use a hose pipe, this is just what was available to me at the time. You can use any type of hose or pipe that you can keep cool in order to condense the steam. So here I'm just collecting some clay and soaking it to make it more malleable and then I'm using that as a seal between the hose pipe and the metal flask where the water is going to boil because obviously I don't want the steam to escape through there. So now I'm just lighting a fire around the metal flask in order to boil the water. And you'll see here that I added more clay onto the hose pipe that was exposed near the fire just to make sure it keeps nice and cool. Another thing that's important to mention is that bacterial growth can often occur in old hose pipes like this. So if you are using this method with an old pipe of some sort, then you should really only drink the water if it's a genuine emergency situation. You can see here that the method is now starting to work and droplets of water are collecting in the container at the other end. So now I'm just testing the water to make sure that the method has in fact worked and it has, there's no salty taste, so that is how you can turn seawater into drinkable water in a survival situation.